it's a story time. So, um, yeah, about my nails that I have right now. I didn't get them done at the place. Of course, I did them myself. But, like, whatever. I'm gonna start this one. On Thanksgiving Day, I was doing some activities, of course, with my family. And my thumbnail broke. Right here, my thumbnail broke. Have any extra nail glue on me so I can like do that so I cool. like fix it myself so all the stores were closed that like in the areas that I could go to like to get nail glue all the places that I knew had nail glue um were closed so like I had to go all the way to my nail tech who lives like about a few like she doesn't even live that far i could if i walked there it would only take about 10 minutes to walk there but five minutes for a drive so i drove there for five minutes so i drove there five minutes took five minutes of course um and i had to wait in line because there were a bunch of other people there I guess getting Thanksgiving nails, even though it was already, like, tomorrow was past Thanksgiving, but, like, whatever. It was weird. But there's this girl with the same problem. So, she walked in, you know, she walked in uh, before me. I saw her walk in, and then I walked in right after she got in line. And so, my normal, the person who normally does my nails or, like, helps me she wasn't there because she was like not working that day because it was thanksgiving and there weren't a lot of the nail techs that i recognized because of course they were all like on breaks and like at their houses and stuff so like i'm like oh so the lady who was doing my same nails because there was like one person who wasn't on break. So the lady who was doing my nails had to do the other girls first. So she was like, hey, I'm happy to help you. You can come over here. You don't have to wait in the line. So I went in that same line. Like I went after her, of course. Like I like was behind her in the second line. So she took her. She was happy to help. She was, like, gluing her nail back on, and then she paid literally only $2 to go and then left. So, paid $2 and left. So, I was up, and she was like, Ugh, what do you want? Like, in an annoying voice. She was, like, acting so annoyed. Like, I don't get why. Like, literally, I had the same problem, and she was happy to help the other person. So, like, that happened, and then I was like, hi, I have the same problem that girl did. I broke my nail. All the stores that I know have nail glue um, are closed, so could you glue my nail? And she's like, oh, fine, but why did you have to choose today? And I'm like, it's not even really my fault. It's not my fault that my nail just randomly fell off. Like, I didn't even touch it or nothing. Like, it literally just fell off randomly while I was eating food um, with my family. And some of my family was playing a game. So, I went over to join them. Blah, blah, blah. I broke my nail. And so, she was, like, all annoyed, pissed off. And she was like, you need to pay extra. You need to play, like, tw 20 bucks. Like, she said 10 bucks, but, like, originally she said 20, and I'm like, what? That makes no sense. So, she did, like, $10. She said $10 then, and the other girl had to pay 2 bucks, maybe even 3 not even that much. And I'm like, I need to speak to the manager. And the manager and I are, like, BFFs, like, we're best friends. And she's always happy to even do my nails. There's only two people out of all the people who go to that place that I know of 
who have gotten their nails done by the manager. The manager's daughter and me. And so, because, like, me and her have known each other since, like, fifth grade. And we're not even around the same age. Just she uh, got held back. So, like, yeah. And, um... So, I went up. I, like, went to, like, um, blah, blah, blah. I asked for the manager. The manager came, and she was like, what seems to be the problem, dear? And I'm like, hey, so I came in to gloom to ask if I could get my nail re-glued. So, uh, like, I told her the story, like, about all the stuff. And then she's like, oh, well... Um, do you have explain some explaining to do? Let's call her Anna. So Anna is the nail tech who like did my nails, who was really annoyed and upcharged me. And then um let's call the manager Lisa. These are just random names. I don't know anybody named these names except for I know somebody named Lisa, but, like, it's not the same Lisa, and her name's not even Lisa, so, blah, 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 so, that happened, and I was, like, telling her the story, and then, and then, Anna decided to go out of the nail store, not even checking out, she literally just walked out, and I'm, like, so confused, like, what the heck, and then, the manager goes chasing after her. And then when she finally got her, like, literally, it took 10 minutes to go and get her. So she brought her back. She fired her on the spot. I was like, what? So that happened. And then I'm like, what? And then she's like, um, Lisa's like, hey, all, hey, you can pay. It's on the house. You don't even need to pay. And I'm like, thank you. And I walked out. And that's the end. By the way, disclaimer, this is a fake story. I'm sorry if you thought it was real. It's a fake story. I'm sorry. I'll put a disclaimer. So, so sorry about that. Uh, yeah.